Hello everyone. This is a video explaining the linear algebra aspects in a selected paper. We will be explaining the use of non-negative matrix factorization for text classification. The paper we have referred to is document classification using non-negative matrix factorization and under approximation. In this video, we have only focused on non-negative matrix factorization. We have also referred to other papers for the same. Classifying a document based on its content into one or more classes is known as text classification. Some examples of text classification are spam filtering, language identification, identifying the genre of a text, etc. In this paper, Aviation Safety Reporting System documents, that is ASRS documents, are classified into different anomalous classes such as altitude deviation, aircraft malfunction event, security threat, etc. This is a flowchart illustrating the method of text classification. Given a set of unstructured documents, suitable features are extracted from them. Features such as term frequency and inverse document frequency are generally used. These features span the document space, which is reduced to generate feature and coefficient matrices. Next, appropriate classification techniques are used to label the documents. Here, we focus on reducing the document space and the generation of the feature and coefficient matrices. The key linear algebra concepts involved are non-negative matrix factorization, popularly known as NMF, and least square errors. The first step for text classification is to represent the documents by using suitable features. Each document is represented by a vector dj, where dj is equal to w1j, w2j, and so on till wmj. Here, wij corresponds to the weighted frequency of the term i in the jth document. We construct a matrix of feature vectors denoted by A. The size of matrix A is M cross N, where M is the total number of terms across the given set of documents and N is the total number of documents in the set. As the number of documents and the total number of terms are large, A spans a high dimensional space. There may be words which appear rarely in many documents. This results in making matrix A sparse. This may often lead to noisy features in further processing, resulting in incorrect classification. A solution to this would be to use suitable dimensional reduction techniques such as singular value decomposition. If a term is present in the document, its corresponding attribute in A has some positive value, else it is zero. So having negative valued elements in the matrix does not make any sense. Clearly, SVD is unsuitable in this context. In order to apply non-negativity constraint, we use NMF, that is non-negative matrix factorization. NMF states that a non-negative matrix can be factorized into two non-negative matrices, W and H. A is of size M cross N, W of size M cross K and H of size K cross N. K is a non-negative integer much less than the minimum of N, M and N. K is the rank of the approximation of A. This kind of decomposition provides us with a reduced dimension representation. Here, W is known as the basis document matrix and H is known as the weight matrix. As A is approximated by WH, the problem reduces to a minimization problem. W and H are determined such that the norm of A minus WH is minimized. A multiplicative update algorithm is used to determine W and H. W and H are initialized randomly with non-negative values. Then, W and H are updated using the equation shown. A small parameter epsilon is added to avoid division by zero. 
This update is repeated for a fixed number of iterations or till W and H converge within a threshold. Coming back to the task in hand, applying NMF to classify ASRS documents gives reasonably good results. Now the question is, what enables NMF to discriminate between different anomalous classes? Note that the column vectors of A can be written as a linear combination of columns of W. So, the columns of W can be regarded as the basis for approximating matrix A. As both W and H have non-negative elements, only additive combinations are possible. As a result, NMF learns a path space representation and therefore has an inherent clustering property. In this video, we have reviewed the concept of non-negative matrix factorization for text classification. By applying non-negativity constraints, we are able to classify documents with data compression. Thanks for watching this video.